Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions week 19 I believe. I knew I did do week 18 is because you got week 18 like the next week and then you got it and then the week after it's a bit all confused it's hard to slightly miss that one out. Otherwise for both teams you will have, you know, they play, I'll be doing two games ahead, I didn't really want to do that. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, give a big crap thumbs up, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Wolverhampton versus West Brom. Um, Wolverhampton, I can't, did they play with Spring Break or didn't they? Um, you now, have, now you can see why it's all confusing. Um, but Wolverhampton Wanderers, you know, are doing okay. Um, you know, take it from, you know, where they've left off. West Brom is Albion looking for much needed three points, but for this game, I'm going to go for a Wolverhampton win, and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Wolverhampton win. My next one, and it is one of my live reaction matches that will be happening on my channel. For you that don't know, I start doing live reaction matches, and I go live 15 minutes before every kickoff I do. Uh, Leeds United versus Brighton. This is a big three points for Brighton, and um, need to go get them. Leagues losing to quality in the FA Cup. Um, that's the earliest fixture I can remember. Brighton just literally creeping through against Newport. Only losing by one goal to Manchester City this previous match week just gone. But I think on a neutral point of view as well as a Brighton fan point of view that if Graham Potter does not pick up three points at Leagues, he could be gone. Um, and I also think that you know, going up towards Blackpool um, for the FA Cup, this really is a big week for Brighton and Graham Potter. The only thing I've got about Brighton is we didn't exactly sack Sam Hoopia all them years ago. That's the only thing I'm slightly worried about on the Brighton fan point of view. But from a neutral, I think he needs to go if he can't beat Leeds United, who I've just said lost three now to quality in the FA Cup away from home. Going forward to the game... This is a tough one to call. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brighton win. I think Brighton might just clinch this. I think the pressure on Grand Potter might just creep him through. And uh, Leesman just said that defeat to Crawley is one of the worst five defeats the club has ever suffered. So, you know, I think Brighton might just creep through on that one. My next one is West Ham versus Burnley. West Ham... I can't quite remember how I got on no previous Premier League fixture, nor Burnley. I'm going to go straight for this game, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 West Ham win. West Ham are playing pretty good football at this many times as well. My next one is to London Derby. It's Fulham versus Chelsea. Um, Fulham, you know, got a point against Tottenham in midweek. Fulham are, I think it's five games on beat and run. Fulham are a team to watch. Now, time Brighton play Fulham in the league, the relegation spots could have swapped around. Brighton could be in there if the results don't go our way this weekend. But Fulham have got to win their game against Chelsea. I think Fulham might just about do it. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester versus Southampton. Leicester, I can't quite remember how they got on, um, nor can I remember Southampton. This game is going to be quite good, I do think. I think it's going to end up in a draw, and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Sheffield United versus Tottenham Hotspur. Now, uh, Sheffield United picked up their first three points in this season. I can't remember who they beat. Put down in the comments if you remember who Sheffield United beat. And obviously you've got the majority of going straight onto your phone and looking it up. But I haven't. Not at this present in time anyway. I'm going up against a very dodgy Tottenham Hotspur side. With the likes of, you know, drawing against Fulham at home. Um, Harry Kane scoring an early head up against Fulham as well. Um, I really don't know how to quite call this one. I think I'm going to go for a Tottenham win just about. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Tottenham win. 
My next one, and it will be another lo match live reaction game on my channel, is Liverpool versus Manchester United. Liverpool are li three points behind United. Manchester United are on top on the table as it stands, three points clear of Liverpool. This big rivalry that these two clubs have is one of the biggest in football. This is why the Jamie Carragher and the Gary Neville's got the relationship they have. This is why, you know, the uh, Liverpool fans and Man United fans got a mixed reaction about Mark Lowen and, you know, players that play for both clubs. Um, going forward to this game, I think Liverpool will want to pinch it, though. Um, but don't think they will. I think Man United might just do it just over the line. And I'm going to go for a 1 now. May not win for that one. My next one is Manchester City versus Crystal Palace. Manchester City beat Brighton. Crystal Palace draw into Arsenal. And that is another match live reaction game on my channel. Um, now, Manchester City are going to win this game. Not only for you know the table position games. But they are going to win it for you know, a couple of other reasons as well put a bit of pressure on that top two um even though it won't really put them under pressure but so i'm gonna go for man city win and i'm gonna go for a 2-1 man city win for that one and they only beat brighton by goal to now so you know i think that's quite reasonable my last one and it might be another live reaction game put it down in the comments below if you want to see me do another live reaction to this game is arsenal versus newcastle arsenal draw with the palace at home Newcastle, can't quite remember how I got on. But Newcastle are playing some really good football at this present in time. Uh, Arsenal failing to beat Crystal Palace at home. For me, Newcastle was a slight step up. Uh, Crystal Palace did have a few chances in that game against Arsenal as well. So for this game, I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, ciao for now.